Hey, Jordan, uh, just curious to know uh, the mood of the team today, the temperature of the team, now that you guys have had a night to sleep on it, and, and that approach now with the focus leading into game five. How's the team doing? Yeah, I think we're doing pretty good. Um, obviously, we know uh, we know what happened yesterday, and, um, and the way we've we handled the playoffs is uh, kind of short mentality and um, flush a win or a loss uh, that, that same night. And uh, everyone came back to the rink and we had a, a rejuvenated practice and everyone was upbeat and um, lively and, and everyone's in good spirits today. So we're ready for uh, game five to give it our all. Obviously, we know the, the stakes at hand, so I, everyone will, will be prepared and ready. And Christian, one for you, um, just in terms of, of elimination games, playing in those, whether it be junior, and, and I believe you had an experience your draft year in the American League with, with Portland being in a do or die situation. Uh, just, just your perspective, the approach, the challenge, um, what goes into getting ready for uh, an elimination situation? Yeah, obviously it's a, it's a do or die game for us here. So uh, obviously we gotta be ready to go. We gotta play our A game uh, tomorrow and uh, give it all we got and uh, hopefully we could uh, force a game six. Thanks guys. We're next to Cam Cox with NBC 12. Go ahead, Cam. Guys, thanks again for the time. Uh, Coach was pretty critical of the team after last night's he threw around the word embarrassing. Just curious your thoughts on what he said after the game and as a player, you know, when you hear your coach talk like that, just uh, what's the reaction? Yeah, I mean, obviously it was embarrassing. We all know it in the room. Um, no one likes to um, kind of be shown up like we were yesterday. And uh, the guys will regroup. And, and like I said before, uh, our backs are against the wall. So we uh, will we'd come out uh, swinging. And obviously we don't want our season 10 like, like it did and um, force a game six like Devo just said. And we also have a question for Jordan or Christian. Please click on raise your hand. I'll go to Craig Morgan, Carrie's insider. Go ahead, Craig. Hey, Christian, I wanted to ask you about the sort of this uh, assumption that's out there that that this is a learning experience for young players. You get in this experience, obviously, for the first time in the in the playoffs. Just curious what your takeaways have been from the entire postseason and and maybe going up against a team that is clearly a legitimate Stanley Cup contender. Yeah, I think obviously it's a it's a step up from the regular season. Uh, game speed's a lot higher and faster, and uh, yeah, and the intensity is uh, a lot higher as well. Uh, obviously, it's a little different without the fans, but uh, it's definitely nice to get this experience right now. And uh, I think we're we're all just going to keep learning here, and hopefully, we can keep getting better. Thanks, guys. Uh, we'll, yeah, we'll go next to Tressa Resnick with Three TV CBS Five. Go ahead, Tressa. Hey guys, uh, Christian. On that note, how important have, have fans been in the past and do you see that affecting the way you guys are playing at all and uh, my second part to that is just um approaching Colorado do you guys hear the noise or are you kind of keeping that out and focusing on the game ahead uh in regards to the crowds honestly we don't try to think about it too much and you don't really notice it as much during the game with uh you just kind of just focus on the game but and uh and then what was your second question sorry uh, just focusing kind of, you know, you hear the expectations of Colorado being like uh, Craig said, a Stanley Cup contender team. How are you guys approaching that as like the underdog? Are you trying to show them up or is there just a certain mindset that you guys are able to stand with them? Yeah, I think everyone is, uh, everyone thinks we're the underdogs and uh, I think we, we like being in that spot. Uh, hopefully we could uh, win tomorrow and make this more of a tighter series here and uh, yeah, I think I think we're just more focused on our on our own game, and uh, obviously we got to be way better than yesterday. Go back to Alex Kinkoff, Coyotes.com. Go ahead, Alex. Jordan, um, kind of piggyback off of a question earlier about um, growth as a player playing in these playoffs. Uh, Rick Tockett referred to you as as maybe the most consistent player on this team um, from start up until now in this playoffs. I'd like to know from your perspective, what have you thought about your own performance? Uh, another assist today, your growth as a player and, and how you've seen yourself um, become a key part of this uh, Coyote blue line here during the playoffs. Yeah, I mean, obviously going into that break, no one knew what was going to happen, whether we were going to play or, or not. Um, I just try to put myself and, and the whole team, we try to put ourselves in a position to come back and um, make a push like we did. I mean, um, everyone was prepared to come back. Um, and for myself, obviously, it's it's nice and rewarding to hear those comments from 
from a coach uh, and especially your head coach with with talk and um but i try not to listen to that stuff too much obviously um i just want to go out there and, and do the simple things and do the little things right and um you get rewarded with um the bigger things whether goals or assists you get rewarded when you do the small things right and and uh we just need to continue to do that what are the keys to balancing the emotions and and focus for uh tomorrow and and you did say your backs are against the wall what are the keys just mentally going into tomorrow jordan i just think um i mean honestly just flushing that game i mean obviously we know what happened we we know how embarrassed we we got um but we just need to, we, we regroup today. And obviously, like I said, practice was good up, up tempo and um, we just need to be harder. Um, X's and O's and all that stuff talk was saying um, is all, all good, but it comes down to our, our battle level and, and our, and our will. Um, we're fighting for our lives right now. So um, we need to come out and bring it our all and, and show that in the first shift and first period tomorrow.